What is up everyone, my BGC besties, yeah. So, I don't know if you're aware of this, because a lot of people weren't even aware of the BGC redemption. Not redemption, oh my god, what am I talking about? The conversation, a lot of people were not aware of that. I think if you want to stay up to date, first and foremost, before I start the video, I have to shout out BGCT, because literally, I don't know who runs that account, but it's been around for years, and that's literally how to stay up to date with, like, this fandom of the BGC. That's the only reason why I know any of this stuff exists. So shout out to BGCT, whoever you are, boo. Thanks for informing the fandom, because it is still up, uh, still standing after all these damn years that the show was canceled. But yeah, this resurgence of BGC has led to the conversation, having some of the girls who started their OnlyFans and all the drama regarding that being displayed on the Zeus network because that got so much hype we are now getting a full-on bgc like reboot which is now being called baddies atl on the zeus network again so good gosh darn it i have to subscribe to the zeus network once again if i want to review this damn shit basically i just want to like react to this trailer which i've actually already watched so i'm not going to really be it's not a genuine reaction i just kind of want to watch it it's only a minute long um and then kind of just give my brief thoughts on it what to expect So dramatic. Megan Christina. Sarah, of course. Janelle of Bomb. That Corvette? Okay. Judy. Seven. It's good to see Judy. Sydney. Sydney Star. Oh god, of course. Dramatic. Okay, so now that's that's over. I guess we can have a brief conversation. Let's have a conversation on the Zeus Network. It looks really good. I have to give a shout out, regardless of what you think of the Zeus Network, they have some really good camera work, okay? It's dramatic. I'm like, okay, this is looking good. This is better than any BGC freaking thing on OnlyFans. So first and foremost, uh, let's start, let's kind of walk through the girls a little bit. So we got Megan, who hasn't been on a BGC thing in quite some time. I know she did Basketball Wives and at least I think she did basketball. She did something. But it's nice to see her back because Megan's like makes such great te television regardless of what she's on. We have Christina who also I just realized they were both they both came in on the intro, that little teaser trailer together, and they're both from season nine. But Christina definitely seems like a different Christina from her original season. Uh especially if you watch the conversations, he definitely is buddy buddy with Natalie. Um and I will say that I've seen some following BGCT on Instagram. That's where I get all the news, like I said. Uh, it does seem like her and Natalie are at, like, are as close as they were. And granted, reminder, this is on the Zeus Network. A lot of this can be staged and fake. So take everything with a grain of salt. I should have said that in the first part of the video. This is probably fake as hell. This is probably fake AF, okay? So let's just kind of, like, keep that in mind and not take everything like for literal like this is completely real it's a reality television show so let's keep that in mind but i'm gonna watch this solely for the entertainment aspect and also that ollie that loved watching badger bat bat blah, 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 blah. and also that ollie who loved watching bgc growing up and went hard for this and thought these girls were actual celebrities when they're not so anyways going back with sarah now if you I've definitely been a fan of Sarah for sure for years since her original season, especially just how like confident and like strong she was. I think it takes a lot. It takes a strong ass girl, strong ass woman to go through what she went through on like her original season of 11 of just like being jumped and like first and foremost, that was a terrible season. And, you know, I've always, she's been in, like, almost every single spinoff, so I definitely have always been a fan of Sarah. Now, 
oh Janelle and I was just I just realized now Janelle and Sarah came in on the same damn car same damn season also Janelle definitely like Janelle a lot it's, it's a shame that these two girls were on such a terrible season but you know that's old news Janelle's done a couple I think Janelle's done X on the Beach and she's done what's that other one X on the Beach I think she did the challenge I don't know, it's irrelevant, but it's cool seeing her and Sarah. Oh my God, Janelle looks bomb. To me, I think Janelle looks the best out of the cast. And then here comes Judy. Wait, is, did Judy come alone? Did Judy come alone? Oh, no, she did it. Next, we got Judy. I really hope Judy's in a good place because I feel like Judy's had so many falling out with numerous girls throughout the year and i think from one pisces to another i kind of know how that is like we're a little like we're super sensitive but i hope she's mentally in a good place um before going on a reality television show i hope everyone's in a good mental place whoever you are before going on a tv show um and she definitely makes great tv as well so i'm interested in seeing because she hasn't been on something in years correct me correct me if i'm wrong and i definitely love her uh her magenta wig she's wearing it's super cute on her and i always will support my fellow my fellow pisces next is seven seven was a girl who was i didn't like her on her season I think a lot of people like Seven because she's pretty. She's beautiful. She's gorgeous. I did, uh, she has like a YouTube channel now, I think. And uh, she got super popular on YouTube. Um, but it'd be interesting. Despite that, I definitely think she's really, she's just a cool chick. She's super cool. Uh, yeah, and, and it'd be interesting to see her interact with everyone because I think she's also a girl from the last season of bad girls club so those girls never really got to do anything because that's that was the end of bgc so it kind of sucked that one the show is canceled and two like that was the last we saw of her unless you've just been following her because i don't really know much about seven other other than that she's a mom um who else is a mom on here i think it's just seven's a mom megan's not a mom it's seven tanisha and not judy Seven, Tanisha, and Natalie. How could I freaking forget? Next up is... Next up is Sydney Star. And Sydney's a girl who I don't really... I'm not really familiar with her. Uh, I know she's been on Love & Hip Hop, but I actually think she's she was trying to get on BGC uh, with, during casting, back when it was a show. I th I'm pretty sure... I remember hearing... I've always heard her name, but she just never got on the show. Uh, but I know she was on Love and Hip Hop. So definitely mixing her into the mix of original girls from Bad Girls Club will be interested. But I'm pretty sure she knows a lot of them. But I kind of wish that there was like another like Love and Hip Hop girl. You know, because there's only one. So I was like, well, damn, they could have put like at least one more chicken here. Also, she came in, in the intro in the in the trailer alone. So I'm like, okay, where's her backup? And of course, we couldn't end the trailer on a dramatic note without having, at the end, Tanisha and Natalie. Two of the OGs. Tanisha and Natalie. So dramatic. If I just like looking at that part back when they're just like. And if you're familiar with these two, they've definitely had their disagreements recently on social media so they've definitely been going back and forth they've had disagreements originally with the only fans and the conversation i thought those two were going to do the conversation actually just her and tanisha natalie and tanisha but i guess i'll take this though this looks really entertaining and i'm just surprised i'm not surprised natalie's back but i am actually it's cool to see tanisha for sure she hasn't been on anything she's a mom um, so her life has definitely changed. She looks great, Tanisha. Tanisha looks great. Natalie looks the same. Like, Natalie's always looked the same. But anyway, 
I am really interested in seeing what's going to go down with them. And I'm wondering, like, are they actually going to stay at the house? Is Tanisha, like, going to stay somewhere else? Because Tanisha's, like... Like, she don't have to be doing this. So I'm sure Tanisha has been getting paid a lot of money. She's probably had lots of requests, special requests, because it's Tanisha, as with Natalie. But Natalie is like... I guess I think they're just playing the game. Like, my predictions is that they're both business women at the end of the day. They got to get the bag. Oh my God, they're probably... I'm probably going to hear the bag throughout the season... I just hope these girls are good actors. You know, like, make sure they're good at acting. You know, if you want to make a good reality television, you have to make it believable. So I hope that this is believable. And um, I'm ready for what's to come. But yeah, you guys should let me know what you think of this upcoming season of Baddies ATL. Uh, I wonder if there's going to be other spinoffs of this, if there's going to be a Baddies uh, LA. But I think Atlanta's a good place to shoot in because... It's kind of open, unlike LA where things aren't really open. Atlanta's open, so I don't know. But until then, you guys can follow me on all social media platforms. That's Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch at Ollie Dreamer. And uh, like, share, and subscribe. It's very free. It helped me out. Until then, stay safe, wear your masks, social distance. Did I say wash your hands? Wash them. Bye, guys.